Hi everyone. Today we'll be discussing about the Biofuel Contest 140 of Lead Code. And the first question says, minimum element after replacement with digit sum. So we are given an array num. So here we are given an array that is nums, and we have to replace each element in nums with the sum of its digit. So we have to replace, or we have we can say we have to create a new array where we will have the same number of elements, but see here we have four elements and here also we have four elements but the new created array should have the sum of the digits here we have 10 so 1 plus 0 is 1 1 plus 2 is 3 1 plus 3 is 4 and so on so that is the new array we'll have and after that creating the new array we have to return the minimum element in the new array of course the new array is what the sum of the digit of the previous array that is nums so I hope you all have remembered that you used to solve, you have solved the, you know, this to find any sum of it, the digit we have used to solve like using some mathematical calculation in our primary schools, right? Where we have, similarly, I have done this here also today. I have used that formula only basically to find the sum of its digits. So I have taken a function that is sum and I have taken the num, okay? So S is equals to sum here, right? And while num should be more than 0, I'll add it. So to add that number or a particular digit, we, I'll divide like I'll divide that by 10 and add the remainder, right? I'll add the remainder. That's why num remainder 10. This modulo function will give the remainder. That is the digit. Anything you divide by 10 will always give that particular number only, right? In remainder if you get, right? So, and after that one, that number is added, I'll remove that number so that it doesn't get add twice. So, I'll remove that number and to remove it, I have to divide that number by 10. Earlier, I have, I have divided it, but I have taken the remainder to add it. And then to divide, I have to remove it, subtract the number since it's already added, I have divided it. And then I will re return the sum. And here, I have to find the minimal, minimum element. Therefore, I have taken int max. And I'll go, I'll traverse through the loop once and then I'll take. So here basically I have used a for loop to traverse in the main array and then this main array nums I will get access of that new element that was created using the function sum. So I have called this function sum here so that the nums I can access it and this aim will find the minimum among the new array that is nums i. Because nums i is accessing all the elements that have been created here using the sum function and after that I have taken the minimum function minimum min function to find the minimum number and then I have written min. So m. So this is actually the final answer for this question of today's contest. I hope you liked it. If you did Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.